Yo, what's going on? It's Elusive here, and today we're going to be installing the Type R center console as well as the Type R e-brake. Let's get right into it. If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want. I turn a business out of nothing into something I love. I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff. I flip a switch. So do not scratch the steering wheel. Please. So this is generally going to be a pretty easy install. Um, center consoles in this car are very easy to install, thankfully, due to very little electronics and everything else, but we do have the bike all moved. I usually park the bike behind the red R6, so we're going to move the red R6 out of the garage that way. Um, the lighting's a little better because in the garage, the lighting really freaking sucks. So we're going to move it out of the out of the garage, but here's the bike again, as you guys saw in the last video. Um, I've been having a lot of fun. It's been, what, two weeks now since I bought it? So I've been driving it every day to work. I drove it last two weeks every day to work. A lot of fun. I drove on the freeway for the first day today. Um, it was, uh, what, it's a 70 mile per hour speed limit, but it wasn't really that much fun because all my, my, this is a very tiny shield on it. So all the wind just goes right to your face, especially with the, the, the dirt bike bars. I mean, you're upright and you got to tuck really good in. Otherwise your freaking head gets, your neck gets thrown back. But so far having a lot of fun. I just got the uh, stands in for it. I did order a kit to lower the bike. I, it's uh let me see if I can find it it's uh this bracket here the silver piece um, it's an adjustable bracket by soupy performance I believe um they make that as well as an adjustable kickstand because when you change the bike height you gotta change the kickstand as well so that'd be uh, in a future video and I also have to fix the front sh uh, the front shock is leaking you guys can kind of see where it's all dripping down so we will also be fixing that as well not a crazy hard and not a crazy hard you know fix but it does make a huge difference because right now on the road, the thing, this thing kind of fucking sucks. Every bump you hit is like four times worse, but it's still a great bike and having a lot of fun. So let's get right now into the red RSX stuff. Fuck the bike. <laughs> really, I am a fan of the sound. Um, the look, I wish it was a little more like the in NVIDIA N1. I wish it was more angled. I wish the tip kind of got cut off here, but I like, I, I like how it sounds and it looks, it looks mean as hell. So I'll give you guys a cold start for real quick. All right, so I moved the car out of the garage. That way the light, lighting's a lot better out here. Um, the garage has terrible lighting. So um, right now we have obviously the stock, the stock center console in yet. Um, it, it did come with it did come with this uh, shift boot. Um, it, it is a Type R kind of one. It looks just like the one on the Type R center console. But yeah, here is what, it, what I have currently. Let me get in the car once. So obviously the stock one, this is a, something else. I'll put that in later. But um, this is the stock center console. Never been a fan of how it looks. I mean, it was kind of neat in the beginning with the cup tray thing, but I really don't use it. And every time I use a cup holder and you're driving and leave it open, the fucking cup holder closes. So I think it's kind of stupid, but it's kind of unique, I guess, its own factor. But I'm really in love, really, really in love with the Type R one. And then here is the uh, Type R center console. So as you guys can see, a lot, a lot different compared to the stock one. Uh, first big difference obviously is the cup holder is not a sliding one. It's just a stationary one And then the uh, there's a badge on the type R one it generally comes with uh, it, it generally comes with Integra type R it says but I got the struck King uh, Not not OEM it struck King makes a kit for this. It's like I don't know 40 bucks or something and uh, My car is an RSX type S so I'm gonna badge it as it is so this is what that's for and then this is the e-brake it's a little bit different than the stock one. The stock one is just uh, the same material all the way up and down. This one has an aluminum button as well as a different style handle. So we're going to be installing that right now. All right, so we got uh, everything on the front off. Uh, it's just 
Uh, this this pulls up after you take the shift knob off. Sorry, this one pulls up after you push the shift knob up. And then uh, uh, two bolts here, and then you take off the socket plate here, not socket plate, but the, the whatever you wanna call it, the cigarette lighter. And then you unplug it, and then these two screws here. And then that's all for the front. And then for the back, it's just gonna be uh, two screws, on each, one on each side. And then this baby will be ready to come off. Another thing that the Type R doesn't have is the cigarette lighter in the back. So make sure you do unplug this before you take it out, otherwise you're gonna strip some shit. All right, so I got it unplugged. That was kind of a bitch, because I couldn't see anything. And I had the <clears throat> the GoPro on, I kept hitting shit. So I got it all off. I'm gonna should just pop right up now. And it's probably, I'm probably gonna have to put it back in neutral. But the e-brake is up, so we should be good. Yeah, but here is the Acuity short shifter you guys haven't seen yet, because I installed it before I made the channel. But here is the short shifter. Pretty nice, I, I think. Um, Try not to lose the screws I got in the back. Of course. Go put it in reverse now. Or something else. Some other gear, will that work? Just barely enough room, okay, sweet. So here's the main difference between the two center consoles. Obviously the left one is the United States, like Type S and regular RSX one. This is the Integra Type R one. Biggest difference, obviously a cup holder and then uh, the back the back here does not have a side compartment as well as there is no uh, cigarette lighter in the back. I could modify it to fit if I really wanted to, but for now I'm gonna keep it like this. Maybe in the future I'll put, I can just really just drill a hole and put that through it. That's all I had to do, but for now I'm gonna keep it as it is and then we gotta, inst uh, we gotta take out the uh, e-brake as you well yet. So I got the e-brake off, it should be pretty simple. It's just uh, these two bolts up here and then that should all plug in together, I believe, hopefully. And then we should be ready to rock and roll. This is for the cigarette lighter. Uh, we're not gonna be using it, so I'm gonna tuck it in for the time being. It won't be in use anymore. So that can just get tucked in. It was electrical tape too, which is also why it was hard to unplug because I couldn't see where the connector was. But anyway, we got it, so it don't matter. Um, yeah, so we're gonna loosen these. I think it's, um, just these two, because this bracket stays in. So just gonna do these two bolts. Should've, I should have compared it a while ago, but it looks exactly the same. Um, the brackets all line up with everything that should be there. So this uh, this switch here by the seatbelt there, the white one, is for the e-brake light. And that looks like it's still intact, so we're good on that part. I'm hoping I'm trying to put a seat, hole in my seat. And then everything should just come off as it looks like it's just these two bolts, as you guys can see, that one and this one. So we're gonna get to taking those off and then the thing should pop right off and then we should just install this wherever that one um, was. And then in order to get this mechanism off here, um, so it's connected to the e-brake, in order to get this off here, you have to unscrew uh, these two bolts here and then these two will come out of the e-brake thing here and then they should pop right off. All right, so the two bolts are all off. All you do now is just hole or something like this on this guy and then it should pop off this one pop right off um, I can't do it one-handed probably because I'm retarded but yeah oh there it goes it's coming up pops right up and now it's completely loose so we can take it out and then obviously we can compare the differences quick so here's the difference in e-brakes um, like I said not really a huge difference for e-brake but main center console was a big difference it's the same shape and everything obviously but if you're gonna get a center, Type R center console, you might as well get a Type R e-brake. Only difference that I did notice was this clip is a little tighter on here, and this one's pretty loose. Hopefully that doesn't make a difference, but I doubt it. Looks like the, the thread on here is the same, so I shouldn't change the uh, e-brake at all. And everything else looks exactly the same. So like the main difference, aluminum, aluminum bolt head, and this one just got like a, I don't know, silver one. Other difference, kind of looks a little different. This one has kind of a similar design but it's got more of a design to the Type R uh, center console. So we're gonna throw those in, same way we took this one out, and then hopefully the e-brake placement's the same and everything works just as good. And to be expected, everything fit right. Uh, everything bolts up just the same as the other one did. And it'll just take a little bit of finicking to get these back in, but they got back in. And then all I gotta do now is tighten all the bolts down and then we should be good to test it out to make sure the e-brake um, will obviously stop the car at the same position. And then we should be moving on the center console then. So all four bolts are tight e-brake locks up and then it goes down so that's good everything works 
Now we're gonna see, I'm gonna try it. Now I plugged in the light um, here. So I'm gonna see if that works. But the light should be on. And it's not, that's great. Okay. Okay, well, he breaks up and the light doesn't go on. Okay, that's gonna be another problem to fix. I should be uh, a little stopper here. Should be a little stopper here. So that might just need to be adjusted. I thought it was the second it goes off the stopper, it should go on. Let's, wait, I'm gonna check into it quick. All right, so I ran into a problem. Um, this button here, uh, click, it's supposed to uh, bounce up like this uh, when the e-brake goes up and down. But as you guys can see, let's take a look at the one I got. The one I got, either the spring is fucked up or something, but I can't really show you in the car, but every time you put the e-brake up, every time the e-brake should go up, this should pop down afterwards. Oh, hold on, now it's working, hold on. Okay, there you go. So this is supposed to pop up with the e-brake to show that it's on, so that spring is loose. So it looks really simple. It's just one screw here, this gold screw. And then I'll just place that one that works back in here, and hopefully the sensor works. So I can't—I got the piece off. I couldn't tell uh, what the problem is. It m must be gummed up or something, because this spring won't even go down anymore. Like, see this spring here on this one it goes up and down, but on this one it won't even go down now anymore. So I'm just gonna take this one off and then throw that one in. Hopefully it'll solve that issue with the brake light. All right. So update. I did fix the issue. It was—it was the uh, spring not returning back. So now you can see. I got the new one in, and then I push the e-brake up, and the brake light comes on, and then you put it down, the brake light goes off. So thankfully that was the issue, and it was super easy to fix. I had to take off the two bolts to get to get at this because there wasn't enough room between the seat. But and again, it's super easy. So I did run into an issue. I forgot to change over uh, these. So these are different for a left-hand drive and a right-hand drive car, I guess, apparently. Um, so make sure you guys change these over. Um, you have to use your other center console. So I just switched over these from my other center console, the one that came stuck with the car. And then it all lines up good. There's a little bit of a gap here. I think I fucked up the bracket here when I was uh, taking it off the other one. So that's why that's there. I might order a different one or I don't know. But right now this side doesn't sit like a hundred. You can see there's a little gap there. This side sits flush. So I must have broke off that tab or something. But for now it'll work. Um, everything else is sitting in good. It looks a lot bigger, honestly. But it doesn't look, but it's not any bigger. That's the funny part. Uh, but yeah, we're going to screw it all in uh, and get all the things connected back again. And then we should be all good to go. Okay, so everything is in and on. Uh, there was a few, I wouldn't call fitment issues, but a few issues I have. So obviously you guys can see there's a bigger hole between um, the cigarette lighter here. Um, th there is a left hand drive, or right hand drive one I should say. Uh, the only difference is where the angle is pretty much. It's just pretty much just vertically flipped. So I gotta get that to fill this gap in, that way it'll fit better. But it still fits and everything, which is, I was surprised that it fits, but it still fits. I just need to get that one to make it not have this gap here. And then I'm gonna, when I buy that, I'm just gonna buy uh, the other side here. That way this isn't got a gap in it too. This is only from, because I broke that clip off and it won't clip in now in there. So it won't sit in there straight. So I'm gonna get a new one of those. And then, uh, yeah, other than that, it fits great, but you can't screw it in because that bracket doesn't line up. 
and I tried pushing it down, pushing it down, it doesn't line up. Um, but you can't really tell it's unscrewed anyway. It looks fine. It's it's. I don't know if it's really in here or in here, but it's in here. It's not going anywhere. Um, E-brake, everything all works. Everything is in tight, so it's not coming off when we're driving or nothing. So shouldn't be an issue. But oh uh, yeah, here's the center console. Super happy with how it looks over the uh, stock one. Once I get that fitment, fitment issue figured out, obviously it'd be a lot better. I'm also gonna look more into getting this to work. Um, if not, I'm just gonna leave it because it, it fits fine. Like I said, it fits. It's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna get the shifter on, the shift uh, shift lever on, as well as the acuity attachment. And then we'll, we'll be end of the video. And then I did get the acuity shift boot collar, as you guys saw on there. Um, so all it is is just threaded. You gotta thread this on with it, and then you uh, thread to the bottom maybe, and then wherever you want it. And it clips up here, and then we can throw the shift knob on. Let me grab it. Oh boy! Uh, we can throw it on. They came with a different. They came with a different attachment too, in case this one sits too low or something. But it looks pretty good. So now I just gotta fuck with it to get the uh, obviously the gearing on there right. But uh, everything turned out good. Uh, everything works well, and I'll give you guys the final result at the end when I get this done. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not. So, here is the center console, obviously, you guys saw in cinematics. It looks very good for, I mean, I paid I paid 500 bucks for the center console, um, so that's, that's a good amount, but this is getting pretty rare now. Um, so, the, kind of the Type R interior is kind of. It's kind of getting there now. I, I'm really not trying to make a Type R replica. I'm just kind of really a fan of the Type R stuff that was made for the car. So, yeah, everything works good. I mean, I was super impressed that everything obviously bolted up besides this. Obviously, that was only issue. Um, so now the Type R, the interior is pretty much all wrapped up except for the radio now. So I just need the radio in, and the interior is all wrapped up. Obviously, I didn't do the black interior on camera or anything, but that was a different uh, different time before I had the channel. Um, but everything is in now, um, the Type R steering wheel, Type R pedals, uh, center console, and yeah, I mean it looks fucking great, I think. It looks a lot sportier and a lot more unique, I feel like. It looks kind of like a Volvo center console a little bit with how like, with the square, um, I don't know, just square your design stuff. But yeah, it looks great. Um, any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments. The last thing I gotta do for the interior other than the radio will be uh, the trunk latch button which is still tan I gotta get that black uh, I gotta get the whole it's a little more, more complicated process than just changing the handle out so you gotta replace the whole line and everything but I have the part for it I just gotta do it so that'll be also a, maybe a different video maybe I'll do it my own but it's gonna be a pretty easy install um, but like but that being said uh, thanks for watching and see you next one peace and we all got dreams Y'all want things, but what you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be?